This is a King James Moment, brought to you by Lighthouse Baptist Church in Grand Prairie, Texas. Over this last year, we have produced 51, and then this one, number 52, King James Moments. I've enjoyed uh, the study time. I've enjoyed uh, fellowshipping around uh, the, the material with, with others. I've gotten some good feedback. We've had a lot of people call us and tell us or email us or write us through Facebook or wherever and let us know that the, it's, the series has really helped them, that it's helped them become more concrete in their stance for the King James Bible. It's cleared up some questions they've had about the Bible. It's cleared up some of what they've heard, and it's challenged them to study even more. We've made an attempt to discuss uh, translations, uh, spent a lot of time on doctrinal purity, uh, consistency, uh, reliability, history, honesty, and, and spent uh, much time, most of the time, comparing uh, verses out of the King James Bible to these Johnny-come-latelys. It's been a blessing. I'm not going to stop studying on the subject. I would challenge you not to uh, not to stop studying either. Uh, we, ought, we ought to spend our life not just talking about the Bible, but reading the Bible. It's not enough for us to spend time excited about what's on the jacket cover of our Bible. We need to spend time inside God's Holy Word. Listen, we just need to get it settled which Bible we're going to use. And once we're in it, we need to stay in it. We need to commit as much of it to, uh, to memory as possible. And we need to stick with the Bible. We need to stick with God's holy word. Listen, I'm so glad that now at, I can take all these off my desk and, and never have them up here again. And, and my desk and my days will be filled not with studying and comparing this nonsense, but I can just stick with my King James Bible. It's God's word. It's holy. It's perfect. It's for me. And I sure hope it's for you, friend. I hope that the series has been a blessing to you. It's been a blessing to me. We've gotten the hate mails. We've gotten the calls and all that. Listen, we're not worried about the people that aren't there. We're just trying to encourage the people who love the King James Bible. And I hope it's done just that. It's been an encouragement to me. And some of you that have written and called and sent messages have been an encouragement as well. May God bless you. And he'll do it using the King James Bible.